we are going to demonstrate uh, a response surface modeling tool which can be used to explore the design space of a kinetic energy harvester and the associated elements like the power processing circuit, the supercapacitor and the sensor node that is use, using the power. Uh, and uh, we will explain how the tool can be used. The tool has been created using a response surface modeling technique which is a mathematical technique allowing designers to very quickly explore the design space without detailed simulations. Detailed simulations are quite expensive and they take a long time. Uh, we had to pre-run some simulations, about 200 simulations, uh, based on the results of which we built the response surface model, but the use of the response surface model, as you will see, is very quick. Uh, there are a number of input parameters that can be changed by the designer. For example, some parameters about the vibration uh, source, uh, parameters uh, to do with the microgenerator, power processing, and also the sensor node. And the response surface model instantly gives answers concerning the amount of generated power, the power transfer efficiency, uh, power consumption of various blocks and also the maximum number of data transmissions that can be achieved by the sensor nodes. Now Phil will show how to use the tool. Okay, I will give a detailed demonstration of how the RSM Design Explorer works uh, and uh, I will show it on your screen. Yeah. Uh, here we can see the initial diagram of the program. Uh, it is a simplified version of the whole system system input is a sound wave vibration. The user can set its amplitude and the frequency. The energy harvester has been treated as a black box. The load is a wireless sensor node. The user parameters are the energy consumption per transmission and the supercapacitor threshold voltage. The system's performance is determined by the number of transmissions made per, per minute and uh, the transmission duty cycle is depending on the supercapacitor voltage and the threshold voltage. Uh, if we increase the peak amplitude of the vibration, uh, and we can see that, as expected, um, the number of transmissions uh, increases. Uh, if we increase the uh, energy consumption per transmission, the number of uh, transmission will decrease. Uh, now I click the the expand button. Uh, then it shows a more detailed system diagram and the user has more control of the parameters. For the uh, micro generator, uh, the user parameters are the proof of mass, the number of coil terms, uh, the mechanical Q factor, and the cantilever properties. Uh, the performance indicators are the generated power and the maximum displacement of the cantilever. For the uh, energy storage, uh, the user can choose the supercapacitor size and uh, the performance indicator is the voltage. For the power processing circuit in the middle, uh, there are three types of circuit topologies. The diode bridge, the voltage multiplier, and uh, a switching boost converter. Uh, if you choose the switching boost converter, uh, we can see that uh, uh, there are three more user parameters, uh, which are the inductor size, the switching frequency, uh, and uh, the switching duty cycle. Uh, the performance indicators of the power processing circuit are the power consumption and the transfer efficiency. Uh, the user can change its parameters And uh, we can see that uh, all the performance indicators update instantaneously. Uh, note that for the micro generator to generate a useful amount of power, the resonant frequency of the cantilever cannot be too far away from the input frequency. Uh, therefore, 
Here we listed uh, the operating frequency range. Uh, for example, uh, if we change the material from copper to steel, Uh, we can say that uh, the relative frequency is 65 Hz, uh, which is too far away from the 50 Hz input. So the performance indicators will show error, and uh, uh, there's a warning message. Uh, if we change the uh, length of the cantilever to 12 mm, and uh, the thickness to 151 uh, micrometer, uh, we can see that uh, the system is back to operation. Uh, there's another comparison we can do. Uh, is that uh, now we can see the gradient frequency is uh, uh, 50.23 Hz, and uh, the uh, generated power from the micro generator is uh, uh, just below 5 uh, milliwatts. And uh, if we change the thickness of the cantilever, uh, just a little bit, and we can see that uh, the range frequency is uh, 49.98 Hz, uh, which is closer to the 50 Hz input, and uh, the generated power from micro generator is increased to 7.43 milliwatts. Uh, finally, you're welcome to download the tool and uh, to test its uh, full functionality. Thank you.